In this video, I'm going to try to give you a whirlwind tour of the Find and Run robot program, otherwise known as FAR. Now, don't try to follow along with everything I'm doing here, um, because I'm just going to try to give you a quick overview of lots of features, and then in subsequent screencasts, I'll try to go into more details about each of these. So let's hit the break key on the keyboard to bring up the Find and Run robot program, and let's start searching for something, let's say the notepad program, I'll just start typing note, okay, and here it's popped up notepad, I can hit enter to launch notepad. Let's hit break again, you can see that the recently launched programs are shown in this window here, so if I just wanted to launch notepad I could quickly select it and launch it again. Let's search for wordpad, okay, there's wordpad, let's hit enter to launch it, now let's say we're typing something, neural Bayesian reasoning, and we want to get some more information about this word, I'm going to select it and hit control break. This is pre-configured to launch the phrase search plus whatever was highlighted. One of the features of FAR that's different from other programs is we can see it's presented me with a list of options here. I'm just going to select the first one and launch a Google search on this. Okay, let's close this window. Let's close WordPad. Let's bring back FAR. So let's see about alias groups. I've configured one already called Ed. If I just type Ed, we can see it's popped up my commonly used word processing programs. You can see, well, let's say we decided we wanted to add WordPad to this. I'm going to hit Escape to select the thing and now type WordPad. We remember it's found WordPad. I'm going to right click and say Add to Group Alias Ed. You can see it's shown the Ed the group alias edit box with the group named Ed. It's added WordPad to the list of this group. I'm going to click OK to keep this. Now I'm going to type Ed and we can see now we have our three word processing tools in my group called Ed. So if I ever want to launch, launch a word processor, I just type Ed. Let's see what else can we do. Now normally you use FAR to search your start menu and launch programs, but you can also use it for documents. Now let's say I want to search for a music file by Edith Frost. Now I've configured my audio files to be in a special directory that only gets searched if I type the keyword music. So you can see I've typed Edith Frost and music, and now it's shown, shown me the files matching that name in the music, in the directories I've configured where my music is. It makes it faster to search and you don't get uh, irrelevant results when you're not searching for something. Let's see what else you can do. You can also do directory browsing. So let's do c colon slash windows slash system 32. You can see it's actually doing auto completion as I type. And in fact, I can narrow down the searches. Let's say I only want to find the screensaver files in the Windows directory. Well, there we have it. You can right click on a file and ask to see its normal shell context menu. And here we can see the normal shell context menu where I can now, in fact, test the screensaver if I want, which isn't all that useful. But the point is, you can access um, the con normal context menu of files. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try using some of the plugins that I've got installed in my copy of FAR. Let's do a translation. We'll do GT from English to Spanish of this phrase. And you can see it's translated it. This is a Google Translate plugin by CZB DC member. Let's bring up FAR again. Let's try a calculator plugin, FC. I'm going to do FC. 50 plus 50 is 100 times 1,000. Um, let's try 23 divided by... Oh, okay, so you can see this is a calculator with a history tape. What else do we have? Let's try a movie search using a fantastic plugin called Google Plus, which actually does search as you type. Um, and here we see it's found uh, some entries in IMDB. We can double click to launch it. And let's launch the browser. Okay, let's bring up bar again. And let's try the note plugin by Ham Radio. So H note 
star. This shows me all the notes I've left before. Let's add one. Uh, wash the dishes. That's fine. Now let's bring up H note and search for dishes. There's the note reminding us to wash the dishes. Okay, let's try the word definition program. Plug in by CZB. And that will do it for this video. In subsequent screencasts, I'll go into more details for all of the features I've demonstrated here.